Lukács Florentin, The New Dimension. Noua dimensiune. English version. I opened a new dimension. My dear fans, I really like it. Politics is made for me. But I want to say a few things. I see young people who have just finished a bit of education. That hard work is not for them. <clears throat> they want to be elected in Parliament on the program of a party through they pretty much all promise the same things as that there will be only gold on the streets that milk and honey will be trifles that Influential jobs will be on the hills. Industry, factories, plants, all countries would like, but all of them already exist. Or are being done elsewhere because that's how things are in this world some deliver the raw materials others value them well you know Holland was the first republic from the old so-called Europe surrounded by kingdoms and emperors and other such wonders but alias it was sabotaged from all sides not as the books slyly and falsely tell you that they are too liberal and flourishing faster than the kingdoms that trouble her and that it would be good to have a king too who can rule it toweringly without prejudice. Also, all the citizens were doing very well. And as many people were working in mines, 
they had to flee to war with those who ate steaks with garlic to cut down the forests that are hundreds and thousands of years old to build warships for money to defend the presidency form of government in front of those who fiercely wanted a monarchy. I wonder why if they still lived so well. Why were they not followed in deed and feeling by all those eternal kingdoms? Very liberals, they fall on their backs and all this proud in one place they bombarded and set fire to them in socialism why were there not certain good things they all had to be torn down and scrapped those times many generations grew up there was no hunger and cold up to the years the teaching was solid and effective students didn't want to be in parliament they were jobs for everyone for the smart and for the stupid There weren't so many digital ones. It was different. What about the steam engine? They had GPS. However, he mobilized the planet the cars were running without echo and green so modest but there were also luxurious made in factories on a conveyor belt they used coal and wood heavily now I hear they are always bonnet the cars consumed a uh, leisurely 18 liters per cent. They made the smoke and noises who listened. How to make energy from the sun 
and garbage. It's a grim joke that dead laughs at too. But Romania has gas. It still has oil. What was a you singing in the eternal B flat note? We still have forests with firewood. Stop exporting, put the stoves back. We have coal for power plants. We don't put them all into conservation. And we have atomic energy to sell to everyone. Not to corrupt speculators, swindlers and thieves. We don't want wars. We want to live in peace. In our country, where we know how to do everything. For we see what war can bring. Death and destruction and atrocious landscapes. Ion Luca Caragiale, high school in Ploiești, does 160 years since it was established. I like it. I also was a very good student with 10.00 as a baccalaureate. It was a pride to be a student at Caragiale with a cherry number soon to the sweet. Students were learning, uh, not cooking. It was called Bastilia, a posthumous name. I don't know how uh, it is now. I hope things are the same. There was no place for weak students as uh, hinges. It's fashionable now to say poor student. Why I need physics to be an engineer? Well, you won't need math either. And neither the Romanian language nor the grammar. Because you will never be an engineer. Not even a good sales person. In vain you beat the mass with an iron fist. You also cause other people 
a lot of travel. You had to sink with a bachelor three years. No one will ever call you an engineer. In vain, great joy after the revolution. You've wasted your time. You are totally in involution. Your only chance, because you are not a technician, there is a place in Parliament where you want it. Vote yes or no to this if you are at the meeting for totally unnecessary stuff. If you are not born king, you will not be. Don't beat the planes anymore. Don't steam them anymore. The union of Romanians will not happen. Only when they all want to. Not when some pull the trigger and others oppose it. Like Holland, the rich republic, which around 1750 was once, but it was still not a country of ten that she didn't have a king either. 